of all, I want to, uh, on behalf of Greg Berner, Athletic Director, and the University of Arizona Athletic Department, I want to thank you for supporting this great event. I really felt that um, this was a great opportunity for us to say goodbye to um, one of our famous, um, one that has done a great job for not only college softball, but the game of softball itself. And it's not very often that we get a chance to bring back some of our former players in an arena like this. Uh, unfortunately, home, uh, homecoming weekend, we're going to have our alumni game. I hope all of you come out and fill the stands like this because we have many players that have helped us put those banners on the wall that deserve your support. And tonight I'm very proud to be a Wildcat and I want to, first of all, bring out here um, Caitlin. Caitlin Lowe. I, I think we all remember what she did for Arizona softball. Our SB Award winner, Taryn Bullock. Great young lady from Yuma, Arizona, that made us proud at the College World Series, Chelsea Mesa. And one of my favorites, uh, you know Mac, you know how easy it is to, uh, to fall in love with her, but uh, this young lady has been, uh, I can call her one of my own because. Uh, Mac and I talk uh, pretty much on a weekly basis, Hello. and I'm so glad that she's still playing the game. And I think that's Mackenzie Vandergeese. Get over here. Right here, Dave. I'm, I'm just telling your media, I'm, I'm filming a uh, Sandria talking right now. Ladies and gentlemen, so, I want to thank uh, Sherry Kemp and the MPF um, for taking the time to do this tour. Um, you know, one of the great things about our sport right now I'll is that we right get back. a chance to have some of our former players still playing the game. And unfortunately that's not going to be the case forever, but at least today we've had a chance to enjoy some of the great moments of our former female athletes that played the game at age 28, 29, 30 years old, which 15 years ago didn't happen. And so I want to thank the MPF and I want to give them all the best of luck in keeping this going. very unfortunate that we can't have a professional fast pitch team here in Tucson. With the support we get here, um, it would be really nice to have a team here. But tonight is a night for us to be able to, um, number one, say goodbye to a young lady that uh, decided that she's going to be a mom, enjoy life. She's done a lot for the sport, a lot for the University of Arizona. And, um, you know, Jenny, I'm just glad that we were able to put this together where you can play one of your last games where it's fitting, and that's at Hillenbrand Stadium. But I just want to say... I just want to say to the greatest fans at college softball, everyone on the outfield, everyone in here, um, join me in um, really thanking these five young ladies for what they did for Wildcat softball. But more importantly right now to thank uh, Jenny Finch um, for who she is, uh, what she's done for our game, and I'm going to ask Jenny to speak on behalf of the group um, to address you. But thanks for being out here. It's been a great time. And one more time I'd like to introduce number 27. I feel so beyond blessed to have been able to wear that Wildcat uniform with the tradition that Coach Cumbria built and the many women before me to wear the uniform and the many incredible women after me to wear this uniform. But being a part of Arizona softball is something so, so very special and that is because of you guys. You guys have allowed us to dream big. You guys have allowed us to 
play professionally. Why? Because we know that there is softball fans out there thanks to you guys. So thank you for your continued support, not only of this program, but of softball in general and beyond. I feel, you know, growing up, I had Major League Baseball to look up to and college softball. And now there's this professional league, the National Pro Fast Pitch League. It is the best of the best. These are Olympians, All-Americans, so much talent. Yes, Team USA is full of talent. There's 15 players that can wear that uniform, but you guys see each year the incredible athletes that come in here and play this game at such a high level. And now with this pro league, there's a place to play. There's a place to dream about. There's a place for these young girls to want to go after college, and that's play professional softball. And I feel incredibly blessed to have had the opportunity to continue to play for Coach Candrea and represent this great country and have the opportunity to play professionally in the National Pro Fast Pitch League. So I, am, I, I have felt your love since day one stepping on this field. Except for the day I came here with Team USA. I got booed. I was leaving for the field this morning and my dad's like, I wonder if they're gonna boo you this year. I said, I don't know, this is my last time, so hopefully I get a cheer and I got a cheer. So, um, but you know what? Thank you for all your continued support. Thank you for filling stadiums like this. It's incredible to be able to play on this platform in front of true fans like you. And yes, you did boo me, and yes, I was kind of bummed, but on one hand, it's like, that's why we love them. They're diehard Wildcat fans. And that's why we do love you. We bleed red and blue, just like all of us do. And continue to come out and support this incredible group. You guys are awesome. We're so very proud of you. We'll be cheering you all along, forever and ever. So thank you for everything. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate it. We look forward to coming back here. I think all of us are in for alumni weekend. October 22nd, we'll be back here. We look forward to coming back to Lone Grand. Thank you for the incredible homecoming and welcome and goodbye. Thank you so very much.